Oh boy, World Cup final. Wow. Um, there's lots to undress. VAR. The results business. Your idols are frauds. Why did I remind you people about a World Cup final? But I think the best place to start with this is those people that said that France would easily beat Croatia. Those guys that said that this would be one-sided. The people that said that, you know what, there's there's no, no point in this game even being played, that it's just going to be too easy. That France are going to find this very easily and easily defeat Croatia in this game. I, I know what the scoreline says, but anybody that watches the game will know that Croatia were the better team overall. Deschamps got tactically de destroyed. Dalic tactically castrated and menstruated Deschamps. France were not able to do anything. It, it got so bad that a guy who's been one of the best performers this World Cup had to be brought off. Kante had to be brought off because Kante was nullified. He was dispossessed. Pogba was taken out of the game. Mbappe was taken out of the game. Griezmann and Giroud were completely non-existent. -ex and Croatia's passing, their structure, their positioning, how they positioned themselves on the pitch, how they nullified France's space, how they were able to now create space for themselves, the amount of times that they won the ball, the amount, the amount of tackles that they, they, they made, it was like, literally, the preparation for this was just amazing, and Croatia were on top. And you look at that thing, the, the first goal, it, it's an own goal that happens. It's an own goal that happens. So, but look at how Croatia came back. And once Croatia came back with an absolutely amazing goal by, by Perisic, I was like, you know what? We're in. <sighs> VAR. Now, without VAR, we, we play on. Referee doesn't think it's, it's a handball. We, 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 we play on. But with VAR, he looks and he checks. He looks at it. He checks it. He leaves the screen. He goes back and he checks the game because he knows that this is a World Cup final. So awarding the penalty in the World Cup final, you have to be, be sure. And he goes and awards it. And my thing is, is that I, we need to be clear on the rule. Now, what is a handball? A handball is when... This is, this is what I thought a handball is or what it should be. Is when you use your hand to obstruct the ball. So you knowingly use your hand to obstruct the ball or if your, ball, the, your hand is in an, an, an unnatural position and you obviously have it in the way of the ball's trajectory. I don't know many people that jump like this with their hands behind their back. That's not how normal people jump. How did Perisic knowingly use his hand to stop the trajectory of the ball? How did Paris, how was Perisic's hand in an unnatural position? Those are the two questions you need to ask. Did Perisic knowingly block the ball with his hand? Or did Perisic's hand, was it in an unnatural position? Now, if we're not saying that if the ball strikes your hand, it's a handball, that makes no sense. That's, that, that's stupid. So even if I just smack the ball towards your hand, and my hand is just there, but it, just, it, it happens to hit my hand, I don't move my hand anyway, then it's, that's crazy. So in a World Cup final, to look at that, to look at how Perisic was jumping, and to see the ball just strike his, his hand like, like, like that, I'm sorry, put it this way. The very fact that it wasn't clear, or the very fact that the referee even had to go back and check it out, he wasn't sure, don't give it. For me, because it's a penalty, something that's such a big decision, especially in a World Cup final, if you're not 100% sure, don't give it. If you're 99, if you're 99, if you're 99 sure, don't 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 give it. If you're 100 percent sure, this is clearly a handball used to then boom, and this handball was used to to block the trajectory of the ball, boom. But if you're 99 percent sure and you're a bit uneven, hence why he went back to check it, don't don't give it. So for me, in my view, like it's a World Cup final. It's a World Cup final, and it is crazy to give something like that in a World Cup final. That's madness. But here we go. It's happened. The penalty went through, and Croatia kept on playing well. Again and again, they kept on playing, playing well. And this is just why football is harsh. Because... Based on Croatia's amazing play, they deserve to get something from the game. But this is where football gets really harsh because Croatia were amazing and 
Modric, he, he got he got Paul Pogba. He got Lala B. Like over the course of the game, Modric was the was the better player. And him and Rakitic in the middle of the day definitely got the, the, the better of them. But Pogba's gonna be a bit remembered more. That's the harsh reality. He's gonna be remembered more than what Modric did. Because Pogba made the pass of the tournament a ridiculous pass that cut inside of the, of the Croatian defense and went through to Mbappe. And Mbappe, with his speed and his skill and his composure, was able to now cut the ball back in, gave it to Pogba, and that was a brilliant goal. With his left foot, that was a brilliantly placed goal. So Pogba created that goal and he finished it. Absolutely amazing. And that just what is and that is the kind of skill level and talent level. And that's why it's so harsh because Pogba didn't do much. But when he delivered, it really mattered. He, he, he delivered when it truly mattered. And he made such a key moment. Because this isn't like a guy just scoring a tapping or a, a penalty. This is like a 40, 50 yard crazy pass and a brilliant, brilliant goal. Like that's that's a quality goal. And then Mbappe, I still, I still love the 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 the, the kid man. Every, every time the guy touches the ball, he tries to do something. Even if he loses the ball, he tries to do something. That is what I admire from guys. Where something always is trying to happen with him, and that's why whenever Mbappe has the ball, you feel that something is really going to happen, and he tries things. And you and you and you can look at that. That's that. That's a quality goal. Right foot, faked the the keeper. Thought he would go bottom right, bottom left. Sweet. And he's 19. 19. And then Lor and Loris reminds us why he's a brick. So that, that's what that's what that be. He Loris reminds us why, why he's a brick. But I mean You look at the um the haters of Pogba, Graham Sudas and so forth. And Pogba, he's not there yet. He still isn't the finished article. But you can't deny this guy's incredible quality and the amazing time that he has because there are not many players in the world who can make a pass like that in a World Cup final. There are not many players in the world who can score a goal like that in a World Cup final as a midfielder. Not as a striker, as a flipping midfielder to score a goal like that in a World Cup final. So that's just amazing. And... I want people, I want Cristiano and I want Messi and I want Neymar. Do not let a 19-year-old win a World Cup before you. Not only has this 19-year-old scored more goals in knockout games than you all, this, this guy scored a quality goal in a World Cup final at 19 and helps his, his country to a World Cup victory. Sorry, man. It doesn't matter how many goals Messi, Cristiano or, ne or ne Neymar score. This, this is the one that matters. I don't want to hear any of your excuses. I, I don't. I'm sorry. I don't want to hear any of your excuses. I'm a results-based dude. You know? I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm in the results-based business. And this is the results business. Um, but for Croatia, man, um, this will hurt. Because if they got totally outplayed, totally destroyed, like Italy got to destroy it in the 1970 final, then, you know what, then, that's why even that Italian team said that, look, man, that team is one of the greatest teams of all time. And you're like, you know, we, we lost, we lost, we, we, we got beat by, by, by the better team, you know. But France were not the, the better team. They just were able to seize their moments in ways that Croatia could not. And Croatia, this was Croatia's best game. This, not, not Argentina, because Argentina were, were trash. Tactically, performance-wise, effort-wise, this was this is this is probably one of the best games that Croatia has has ever played, and they lost, and they lost because they were amazing, just absolutely amazing with regards to being on top in the game, being in key positions, winning every single 50-50. They were amazing, but they lost, which just shows you why this spot is so harsh. It's so harsh, but I think for Croatians, I mean, it's it's going to be, be be painful because one hundred percent they'll feel like we deserve to to, to win this game. They will feel that we we deserve to win this game, but that's what that. But that's for football, man. That, that's football. It's um, you have to just take your. You've got to put that ball in that net. You've got to put that ball in that net. But I think you know what. Overall, um, for for France, man, it's because this. I think Pogba is twenty five, Mbappe is nineteen. They still have ways to go. 
they still have a ways to go, man. So, um, are they deserved winners? Yes. <laughs> because from the mindset, and I think they knew as well, and I think people should have thought that after the, the demo game, they're not here to entertain. They're not here to entertain. They're here to get the, the job done. They get to, to get the, the, the job done and their focus was we want to win the World Cup. We want to win. And that was the focus. And it's about winning. I'm sorry. I, it's, it's, at the end of the day, it's about winning. Put it this way. I, I was even thinking about this when I was coming up here. Put it this, this, this way. Would you rather play amazingly well and not win the World Cup? World, World Cup or play like crap but score a goal and win the World Cup? I'll take the latter because the worst thing is people say, man, you deserve to win. You deserve to win. You were amazed. You deserve to win. Where's the trophy? And you know what the best feeling is? You don't deserve it, man. You, you, you're so crap. The other team deserved it. <laughs> you like this World Cup medal I'm wearing? You like, like this World Cup medal I'm wearing? World Cup trophy, you like it? You know? Pogba dabbed with the World Cup trophy. Look at this. Look at this. He bloody dabbled with it. So well, what more can you want from there? So, but I think overall, man, um, I, I'm not going to apologize to Deshaun because he was tactically at outclassed. But that dude for me goes to Dalic. Um, I just think he was tactically amazing. The, this was he, this was him at, at his very best. How he prepared his team like this for me was absolutely incredible. So he gets that dude. Brick of the game is Lee's low risk. To make a mistake like that in a World Cup final, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me that to make a mistake like that in a flipping World Cup final. So yeah, man, overall, vive le France. Uh, France a gagné Coupe du Monde. Um, salutations, salutations, you know. Très bien, très bien. Um, L'équipe de France. And... Um, what an end to what I think, at the end of the day, for better or for worse, has been the greatest World Cup. Croatia, you did well. Congratulations. Superb display. But France, like it or not, like La Bille or not, I'm not going to dab. These boys are World Cup champions. No excuses, because they had me. Thank you for watching this video. Think about pledging and become a half of football hot patron. Pledge an amount each month and gain access to exclusive videos from your boy, the football hot, for more analysis. Peace.